guys, I just want to make this quick video and this is how to style a cheap uh, Halloween wig. And what I mean by cheap is price ranging between 6 and maybe $12. Uh, this wig was $6. I got it at a thrift store that has a big Halloween section. And it's just one of those ones that if you do anything to it, it, um, you know, it's just, I'll show you what I mean by bad quality wig. So this is how you'll know what a bad quality wig is. You want to feel it, and if it feels really, um, like hay, or like you can feel the plasticiness of it, that's cheap. Um, if the hairline, you can clearly see a weird hairline and it's like all bent out of shape. Um, the packaging, usually they're in just clear plastic sleeves. Uh, if the hairs are bent, if it's really frizzy at the ends, um, I actually already cut this wig because Josh wants to be Snape for Halloween. Snape. So that's what I'm doing with this wig right now. And the quality, it's not a heat resistant wig. So this is how to use heat on a not heat resistant wig that is really, really cheap. Um, you're not going to be able to do like baby doll curls or hime curls or anything like that. But what I'm just doing is I'm flipping the bangs inwards and this part inwards and then I'm flipping the rest outwards like Snape has. Bam. So I have my reference picture. I already cut it. Um, I cut the bangs and like one half of it on my head and then I put it on the wig head and just evened it all out. Um, if you are flipping out the ends, you want to make sure you have enough length because, you know, if you want it to be this tall when it's flipped out, you want to make sure you have enough room to flip it. So what I do is I take my iron and put it on the lowest setting. On this iron, it is um, one. You can see that it says one. And you want to do the lowest that you can. So what you want to do is carefully clamp onto a small section and you want to hold it for maybe that long. And then, uh, you can't see this, but just a sec. So after you curl it, you want to hold the curl in place until it cools down all the way, because if you just let it go, then it will still be hot and it will just flatten out. I've done that a couple times. So you want to just hold it until it's cool. Either you can put a pin in it, or you can blow on it, or you can just wait patiently, and then when it's cooled off, it will retain a curl like that. So I'm just going to go all the way around curling the ends. Um, you can hairspray it at the end. Try not to brush it if you can help it because it'll frizz the ends if it's a really cheap wig like mine. Um, I unfortunately brushed it and it just makes the ends all frizzy. So that's how you do it. Really quick, really simple. Um, if you melt your wigs, it's not my fault. I'm sorry. Um, please be careful and I hope you have fun. Bye. This is how it looks at the end. And I put hair wax um, and hairspray in it to try to give it the right uh, texture and just kind of keep its shape. Um, I don't know how it's going to work because Josh isn't here right now, but I think it looks pretty snaky. Yeah, yeah. Snake has kind of feminine hair. I don't know if you guys have noticed. And the curls don't have to be perfect because, well, Snape's not really um, trying out for Miss America. 
So just try to do your best. And that is it. Hope this helped you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.